Well, my reaction is from from a fan's point, quite frankly, not the guy that wore the uniform. Um, I was a kid that grew up in the Bay Area, blocks away from the Coliseum. I saw their first game played at the Coliseum. I remember the 72, 73, and 74 Oakland A's. Our teams were in the World Series in 88, 89, and 90, and we made it to the playoffs in 92. And so it's just heartbreaking um, to see this happening. Um, as a fan, as a as a player in the A's organization, and um, I don't, I just don't know how the city of Oakland can recover from losing the A's, losing the Raiders, and the Warriors returning to San Francisco. I think it's just going to be a very, very difficult recovery. It, it's fresh, and I, I think you still you still do games. Do you still do games with the A's? Yes, I do. I work for NBC. What's the, what's the mood? What's the mindset around the, you know, the current organization. And obviously you know, the front office then as well, as we were, you know, thought that this could come to place. You know, from the organization, um, you know, I've, I've had an opportunity to get to know John Fisher, the owner. Um, He's rooted in San Francisco. His father was very instrumental in keeping the San Francisco giants from relocating to another city. I mean, so I I know that this is a difficult process for him. And let's make this clear. Um, What the A's have done is that they've uh, signed a binding agreement for the land. Um, This process is not over yet by a long shot. There's still a a long road to go to get the stadium um, on the ground built and and ready to go. Um, But back to the original subject, I know this isn't easy for Mr. Fisher. I know Dave Cavill. Um, it's not been easy for uh, either one of them to to make this decision. But as I've said, this, it's been a long process. You're catching pressure from Major League Baseball to do something. Um, you're not getting the type of cooperation that you'd want from the city of Oakland, the, the, the city council members. Um, and so you have to make a decision, even though it's heartbreaking. Um, sometimes you just have to make the decision that 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 puts you in a position to be successful going forward. It's part of you, and I know that a lot has to happen. Are you, are you still holding out hope that things could change and somebody could get a new stadium in the Bay Area and the, the team may remain in Oakland? Well, that's why I said, I mean, all the A's have done to this point is they've made a binding agreement to purchase the land with intent to build a stadium. Uh, but there's there, there's a long process. I'm, I'm going through that process right now here in Nashville um, with us trying to get expansion baseball here. And so I, to, to, to make a binding agreement for the land, that's just the beginning of it. But then you have to find the funding and put all the pieces together, permits everything to get, to, to get that stadium done. Yes, I'm hoping that the A's can find a way in zero hour to remain in Oakland, uh, but it's just not looking good. And then lastly, just to recap, it, it seems that the, you, the city of Oakland and the fans are are who would lose most in here, as opposed to Dave Stewart, the A's legend. Well, there's no doubt about the city. Like I said, three franchises now would have left the Bay Area. The San Francisco Warriors, Golden State Warriors are, are still in proximity. Uh, but, you know, when the Raiders leave and when the A's leave, I think that takes the gut out of the city. I, mean, I think it's a real tough recovery. It's a hard blow. What would you say to the fans that watched you and watched that hat over your eyes back in the day? What would you say to the A's fans who might be a little down in the dumps today? I mean, the only thing that I can say is that I'm with them. I mean, I'm with them in spirit. I'm with them in heart. Um, I am a fan of the Oakland A's. I'm a fan of the city of Oakland. Um, I still have roots in Oakland. My family's there. I have relatives there. So, I I sympathize with them and I feel with them and I feel for them through all of the things that are happening and, and we'll keep our fingers crossed and we'll continue to say prayers that that some type of last minute miracle will keep the A's in Oakland.